Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, for today's video, I'm just going to do a quick review on Hobgoblin Gold. It was a, uh, a beer I first tried last week. Um, I went to uh, one of the local pubs with a couple of my friends and I had a couple of pints of it and some of the aromas and some of the tastes really intrigued me. I thought it'd be a good idea just to do a quick review on it. Uh, I've got the bottle version here. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoy the video, guys. Thank you. So, uh, before we get to drink it, uh, I thought I'd talk about who actually makes the beer. Um, Witchwood Brewery make it, and they're originally from Oxfordshire, England, of course. Um, and they're now owned by Marston's. Uh, they first opened in 1983, and the brewery are well known for their character-based label artwork. We've got one here, look. That's a lovely label, isn't it? I presume that's the Hobgoblin himself. I'm not an expert, so I don't know. I don't know the different characters, but yeah, it's a lovely bit of artwork there. I do appreciate that. That's That looks really nice, that does. There anyway, we are. I've got the beer glass right in front of me here and the bottle, of course, and I think it's time to crack it open. Let's find the uh, bottle opener first, then. Wherever it is. Let's have a quick search around my bedroom. Oh, here it is. Right. It's nice and easy to open. Let's have a uh, smell of the aromas. It's got like a strong aroma, that has. Malty, a bit biscuity, really. Slight hints of citrus. You know, like lemon. Uh, I've been told that it has a bit of a passion fruit uh, aroma as well. Yeah, I can't quite work that out just yet. Um, let's pour it in. Yeah, it's a lovely colour. I don't think we're going to get much of a head on this. Oh, I might be wrong. There we go. So yeah, a bit of a, a one finger head there. Oh, now I've poured it into the glass. It's, it's such, it certainly is a lot more citrusy. Oh, that is nice. So yeah, um, Hobgoblin Gold compared to Hobgoblin, I, I think it's more of a session beer. It's meant to be a lot more Moorish as well. Um, so I am looking forward to this. I'll give it a drink, shall I? That is really nice. Um, yeah, just as I remember it last week in the pub, not much of a, a taste difference, I don't think, uh, between like on draft or, or bottled. Yeah, you get this overwhelming, almost overwhelming, like citrusy, lemony taste. It's got a bit of a kick, as you know, like the back taste of it, you get a bit of a kick at the back of your throat. The hoppiness, a bit biscuity as well. I think the overwhelming flavours of this one in particular is, you know, it is citrusy. I think quite a few people know that about Hobgoblin Gold anyway. It's really refreshing. I could imagine myself drinking this in the summer, I think, on a, on a hot day, you know. I actually prefer this, and I was originally a massive lager drinker, but I think I'd choose this over most lagers now. Slightly hazy, not really. It's quite a clear drink. Oh, that's lovely. It definitely has that tanginess. I, I bloody love it. Dripping down, down the chins again. Let's test how gassy it is. It's got some gas to it. So yeah, when you first drink it, you get the, you know, like the, the tropical aromas and tastes. 
uh, citrusy, a bit of passion fruit in there as well, I guess. I don't eat a lot of passion fruit, so I can't really work it out much, but I'm guessing that's what the, the smell is and the tastes are. Uh, but no, um, when you do drink it, it becomes a bit bitter, hoppy, a bit malty, you know, a bit biscuity. But no, overall, a good ale. I would recommend it if you ever want to just have a break from lagers. If you've got it on tap in your local pub, just just ask for it. Just, just have a pint of it. Just give it a try. And uh, you might surprise yourself. You might actually quite like it. But there we go, guys. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this glass now. And as I said, it was only a short video today. Bit of fun, really. Um, yeah. I should have a, another 100 beer challenge video coming out this week, hopefully Wednesday. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to filming that. Uh, you'll find out what country it is, obviously, once I've filmed it. But many thanks and cheers for watching, guys, and stay tuned for the next one. Okay, thank you.